All right, guys, welcome back and welcome to the radio station. What can I say? Here we have yet another Japanese psychological horror game, and it's from Chilla's Art. So, you know, it's going to be bad. Guys, I just wanted to say truly from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for the support on the videos and especially in the horror videos. I truly... I will always never just not be nervous when playing horror games, but thank you for those of you that show up every single time. Uh, you guys are truly the reason why I keep pushing, especially when it comes to horror games. So truly, thank you. Um, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. So before we get too emotional, we're not supposed to be emotional here. We're supposed to be spooked out. So let's do this the radio station is a horror game about exploring the grounds of a radio station in order to uncover the mystery behind your younger brother's death masaki, ga shinda. masaki died i don't know if i should be reading these subtitles i'm Pretty sure you, yep, yeah, okay. So, now that the Konoma at the Bacadida Lazio no Sigotoga, Kidoni no Tikate, Uresto in Hanasti, Taitsuga, Shinda. So, our younger brother died, and he actually worked at this radio station. Whatever Shinji Ranakata, it's Mono Yoni Lazio Nagastato, Lazio Joker, and Akunati Tarashi. Okay. The cause of his death. Not clear. どういうことだ。おそらく自殺だろうということで。警察は早々に捜査を打ち切った。自殺。ふざけている。あの夜。あの放送で何かがあったのは間違いないはずだ。俺は自分で弟に何があったのか調べることにした。Oh shoot. Welcome to my apartment. I presume. All right, first and foremost, that's that's a big ass flashlight, but I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. Um got the car keys, seems like. All right, so this is we can use the scroll to a okay, tab is my inventory and a letter from the radio station owner. The key to the radio station in the mountains is in the mailbox at home. You may take it if you need it. We've got a car key and the keys to the radio station, which presumably is what we're going to now is not here. I don't, is this the house of the owner? I don't think so. Okay. Let's get out of here. All right. Hello. All right. We can crouch. Just making sure neighbors are not awake at this time. It's quite late. Just looking out for the health of my beloved neighbors, you know. You know me. What do we got back here? God, bro, the aesthetics of these games is just ridiculous. All right, I'm assuming this is my car. <laughs> All right, I got the key now. There we go. Oh. What was that? All right, so we have to go to the house, house on the hills. As uh, I were, oh, whoa, hold on. This is crazy. The fact that we can freaking drive, like what in the world? All right, nice and easy. We got this. All right, so we're basically that green blimp on the map. The radio station seems to be coming up. These headsets are so freaking loud right now. It feels like I'm screaming. Oh God. All right, that's the radio station. Should we get off? This is the station, yeah, why not? I know we don't have the keys yet, but hey, you never know. We might be able to sneak in here or something. I need the station's keys. 10 yen. Is this where my brother died? Bastards. The 
fuck is that? Oh my god. Or just the aesthetics of this game is crazy. I don't think I can enter the station, just like it said in the letter. So we're gonna get back in the car. And we're out of here, okay? We, uh... Oh, whoa, no, no. Not now. Not now! Damn it, I don't want to go in! Alright, so I'm gonna follow the road. And then make a right on the next turn. Perfect. Just driving by. Friendly land friendly neighborhood. Yep. Totally not scary. Look at this, bro. This is I don't know if I've ever played a horror game aside beware where you could actually get in your car and drive. Well, even in beware, you don't really get off, right? So this is this is a first. As far as an indie game goes. This is fucking crazy. Should be fast approaching here. What is this? Hmm. I think that's some sort of trash company or something. I, I don't know. Here we go. Here we go. House on the hills, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, how do I? How do I? Hold on. What is going on? Sorry, I don't know if the game intentionally meant to be that way, but uh, we're here. And there goes my fucking car. <laughs> oh, shit. Hello? In the mailbox, he said it, correct? Oh, I don't fuck with this. Mm-mm-mm. Gotta be in here. The key. Yes. Perfect. Bro, I hate when I pick a new item up. It just completely changes my inventory. Like whatever I have in my hand just swaps out for whatever I just picked up. I don't like that. All right, I'm gonna leave. This has gotta be the crappiest flashlight I've ever held. Oh dear god Alright hold on Hold on man I'm kind of curious What's going on here Why is this car so fucking loud Sheesh Alright can I go in here The trash area Yeah let's, let's go ahead and check out the trash area just never know, right? I mean... Rats seem hungry. Scoot! Get out of here, you freaking rats! No? Is that a dead body? A padlock. Ooh, there's a key there. There's a hole. Or how do I get inside that hole? We've arrived at the uh, radio station. Buckle up, boys and girls. It's about to go down. Oh, shit. We're inside. Hello? Oh, God. Okay, let's see what's going on here, boys. A tape. We got a tape. Stop switching the fucking item in my hands. Yoo-hoo. I've got the tape. Please be advised. I'm nobody to fuck with. Okay. I'm here to simply figure out what happened with my little brother? Before I play the tape, I'm going to do a thorough analysis 
of this radio station. Things here do not seem to be on par with code regulations. We've got rotten food, which I can probably take for the rats. Are you fucking kidding me? はい、鬼川正樹です。この保育園の そこ一人の幽霊が自分の後をついてくるようになったのは、いつも何かを言っているようですが、何を言っているのかわからないので、鬱陶しいと思っていたそうです。そんなある日、一つの事件が起こりました。その日は友達と遊んでいて、知らないうちに
we're gonna go ahead and go let's let's take a look at the rats see if we can give them that rotten food see if that does anything for us I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if it doesn't truthfully but we'll just go ahead and give it a try right we'll give it a go got a rotten fish in my pocket what could possibly go wrong except smelling like total shit just driving uphill now everything's gonna be okay I'm not looking forward to this crap. Just lock me up in a room and scare the shit out of me as, as, as much as you want. But damn it. All right, here we go. Another tape. Well, well, well. Won't you look at that? <laughs> the fuck is that? What's making all that noise? All right, let's go. Let's go uphill. Oh my God, this is horrible. All right, we've got another house here or a building on the right side. It's a warehouse. Okay, let's, let's get off at the warehouse. I don't know, so far the creepiest thing about this game has been driving. As, as dumb as that sounds, that, that's been freaking terrifying. All right, anything? On side of the warehouse. You know what? I'm starting to take that back real quick. The warehouse might just be it. Yep. There's something playing inside there. Oh, it's fucking open. Hello? Shit. Oh, what the fuck? Hello? Really? All right, good. I wonder where that car went. Somebody was following me. Oh, okay. What is this? Public phone. Oh, maybe I can use my... Oh. You never look up, do you? Oh, shit. Alright, we got a tape. I'm fucking scared to turn back. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Vending machines. What in the world? What? <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> oh, there's a code. Oh, this code probably gives me another. Another tape. What is this? A UV. F oh, no. We've got two types of flashlights now. What the heck? Maybe. Maybe we can use this to see what code. Okay, so how about two one four three? Two one four three. All 
All right. Uh, three, four, one, two. One, four, two, three. So this one being the first, two being the second, three being s seven being the third. Wow, bro, Are you fucking kidding me? All right, we've got we've got another tape. All right, getting closer to solving my brother's death. Excuse me, murder. We're gonna get back in the car. I think that's one of the scariest freaking parts of this game. The freaking the driving, dude. How many tapes do we have? We've got three tapes, so that's four in total. Alright, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go back to the warehouse. Um Yeah, we're gonna go back to the warehouse and I'm gonna use that UV flashlight. For the doors i feel like the doors are gonna show us something but i'm <laughs> this car right now like i need to get off this car like what the fuck was that what the fuck was that bro ah perfect i figured i swear to god if something comes at me Oh god, it's opened. Oh, what the fuck is that? There's somebody in there. All right, three, two, one. Ah! No, nope, open that shit. Nope. Voice recorder. Oh, fuck. All right, let's play a cool comic collective. Don't fuck around right now. I don't need this shit. Wait, let me get the other light. Just in case. Yep. Oh, my God. I want to get out of here. Oh, God, God, God. Oh. All right, hold on. Wait, what? Voice recorder. Let's go back to the radio station, see if we find something. We'll be all right. We'll be just fine. If I'm driving and something jumps at me in the windshield, I'm losing it. I'm throwing hands, that's it. Alright, we're almost here. Oh my god, I, I, I have been completely traumatized. Oh, what the hell? There's a house there. Was that there before? That little... That little cubicle thing what the f what uh, hello sir what the fuck nah you're playing with me right now nope not doing it. What the fuck? 
fuck's going on here? What is he looking at? What is happening here? He's clearly reaching for something. There's something odd about this monitor. Oh, I'm breaking that shit. That's fucking right. <laughs> Another tape, you say? <laughs> How many tapes I got? One, two, three, four, four tapes. Five. I think it's seven. So we're missing two, two more tapes. Ah! 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 Shit! 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 Shit. Come out. Come out and play. There we go. Ah! No, you've got to be fucking with me. Masaki no horror no hanashi. Hi. Konkai mo yatte kimashita. Horror no hanashi. Konkai mo tegami yonde ikimasu yo. ラジオネームトーコさんからの手紙ですおこの人前も送ってくれた人ですね前回の話とっても良かったので今回も楽しみですねこれはいとこが確か中学生の時いとこは家族が病気になりとても気を落としていたそうですいとこはその時のことを人生で一番どん底だったと今でも言います家族が病気になったけど何もできず苛立ちと不安で情緒不安定になり、不登校になったと言います。何もする気になれず、ただ空を眺めてはため息をつく。そんな毎日を過ごしていたそうです。しかし、そんな彼女に唯一一つの希望がありました。親友の存在です。小学生の時に意気投合した友達がおり、とても仲が良かったそうです。その子は、いとこのことを心配して、毎日家に来ては、いとこの苛立ちや不安に寄り添って話を聞いてあげたり、学校での楽しい出来事を話して笑わせてあげたりと、暗い心を照らしてくれたそうです。いとこの家に親友が泊まっていくこともあったそうです。そんなある日、今日も親友が来てくれるのを楽しみにしていたいとこがふと時計を見ると、いつも来る時間より30分も遅れていることに気がつきます。部活が長引いているのかもしれない。今日は忙しくて来れない日なのかもしれない。そう自分に言い聞かせていましたが、チクタクチクタクと時計の音は大きくなるばかりです。遠くからピーポーピーポーと救急車の音が聞こえる気がします。と、くるると一本の電話がかかってきたそうです。親友が交通事故にあったと。親友はそのまま帰らぬ人になってしまったそうです。いとこは自分を責め、生きる意味をなくし、たどり着いた先は自殺でした。誘われるかのように、橋から身を投げ出そうとしたとき、いとこを呼ぶ声が聞こえました。構わず飛び降りようとすると、また呼ぶ声が。今度はそれだけではなく、女の子の顔が目の前に現れたそうです。それは、あの親友の顔だったしす。いとこは、驚きと戸惑いとが一気に溢れて、親友を思い出し、その場で泣き崩れ、自殺はやめたようです。それから、親友の声も顔も、聞くことも、見ることもできず、その時、一瞬だけだったそうですが、いとこにとって、親友は、これまでも、これからも、かけがえのない存在だそうです。なんだろうね。Alright. Alright, anything stupid going on here? Hmm? I'm gonna play the other tape? Yeah, can I do that?
Are we good? Are we good? Are we okay here? Masaki no horror no hanashi. Hi, Hajimari Masta, horror no hanashi. Konkai wa donna hanashi ga dete kuru no ka. Tegami o yonde ikimasho. Radio de mu toko san. Mata mata kono kata desu ne. まあ、このトウコさんが送ってくれる話は幽霊の大きな話なので今回も楽しみですね今回はどんな幽霊が出てきてくれるのでしょうかこれは友人が高校生だった時の話だと言います家族が病院に入院することになり毎日病院にお見舞いに行っていたそうですその病院は総合病院だったのもあり大きくて医者や看護師の数も多くいつも人が出入りしているような病院だったようですちょうどその時期は人事の時期だったのか見たことのある看護師を見なくなったり新しい看護師をよく見るようになったりと人の入れ替わりが多かったように感じていたそうですいつものように家族のお見舞いに病院へ行った彼女は今日もまた廊下で新しい看護師とすれ違いますその看護師は家族がいる部屋の方から来たので何気なく家族にまた新しい看護師入ったのと尋ねるといや知らないよと言われました Oh shit, who are you talking about? 何だろうか前からいた看護師なのか違う部屋から来た看護師なのか記憶をたどり、出てきた部屋の場所を思い出しても、やはり家族の部屋のような気がするけど、そんなことが頭によぎりましたが、それ以上は考えないようにしていました。すると、隣のベッドの中年女性が声をかけてきました。病院だからね、いろいろあるさ。そう言うと少し微笑み、飴を家族と私に、一つずつくれたのを覚えています。とてもにこやかで感じのいいおばさんでした。数日後、見舞いに来ていたら遅くなってしまい、面会時間もあと少しという時間になっていました。トイレに行き、家族に声をかけてから帰ろうと部屋へ向かっていた時です。家族がいる部屋のドアが開いたかと思うと、この前見た看護師が出てきました。なぜかとっさに隠れてしまい、様子を見ていると、一緒に出てきたのは家族の隣のベッドのおばさんでした。看護師と手をつないで歩いていきます。すぐに家族のいる部屋に入り、隣のおばさんのことを聞くと、一人でふらっと部屋を出て行ったというので、慌て追いかけました。おばさんと看護師が見え、後ろから、おばさん、おばさんと声をかけるものの、聞こえていないのか全く反応がありません。看護師ももちろん後ろを振り返ることはなく、二人で歩いていきます。エレベーターの前で二人が止まったので走って追いかけ、ちょうどエレベーターに乗ったところでやっと追いつき、エレベーターの中でおばさんの腕を掴むことができました。おばさん大丈夫そう言うと、看護師はこちらをギロリと睨み、消えていきました。エレベーターには何も覚えていないおばさんと二人だけで乗っており B2 のボタンが押されていました。後から知ったのですが地下2階は霊安室でした。あの看護師はおばさんを連れていくつもりだったのでしょう。Oh, sorry, the creepy man. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, what's this recorder for? I've got like this recorder. What do I. Voice recorder. What do I use this for? はい、今回もホラーなお手紙読んでいきますよラジオネームトウコさんからの手紙ですこの方おなじみになってきましたね今回はどのような話なのでしょう最近知り合った同じバイトのこの話、huh. oh, 兄弟が入院し気持ちが下がっている日々その子は兄弟のためにと毎日病院に通い一生懸命看病していたあすいませんいつもと同じ人ですよねあ
。ああ、やっぱり、ちゃんと、とうこさんですね。あ、すみません。いつもと書き方が違うので違う人かと。あ、すみません。はい。続けますね。いつものように、病院へ行くと、兄弟の担当医が、部屋の前に立っていた。別室に案内され、医者の重々しい口が開いた。もう長くはない。もっていっぱい。うん、ストーリーズが変わるな。兄弟の病室に行くと。と。あ、すいません。あ、変なところがカタカナになっていて。続きますね。病室に行くと。兄弟はいつものように笑っていた。それからは時間がある時は少しでも病院に行くようにした。そうするうちに1ヶ月が過ぎ去り、医者に宣告されてから3ヶ月が経とうとしていた。その日はいつもより少し寒かった。病院へ向かう途中、小さな男の子に声をかけられた。お母さんと。違うよ。そう言うと泣きそうになったため、男の子のお母さんを探すことにしたすぐにお母さんが、うん、み密また変なところがカタカナですねあみがみがカタカナでしたすいません続けますお母さんが見つかり男の子を渡した去ろうとする私を見て男の子のお母さんが疲れているみたいだけど大丈夫ですかと、声をかけてきた。家が近いから休んでいってくださいと。自分でも知らないうちに疲れが溜まっていたことに気づき、お言葉に甘えて家に少しだけお邪魔するようにした。お茶とケーキを出してもらい、久しぶりにほっと息をついて休んだ。そんな甘い時間は風のように過ぎ去っていったようだ。時間、大丈夫ですかと声をかけられ、はっと時計を見たときには、面会時間まであと1時間という時間になっていた。ほんの少しいたつもりがそんなに時間が経っていたのか。ここから病院までは30分かかる。すぐに家を出た。挨拶をきちんとしなかった。そう思い振り返るとそこに、家はなかった。しかし気にする暇はない。急いで病院に向かっていると携帯電話が音を立てた。ポケットで小さくなった音に私は気づかなかった。病院に着くと、ドアの前に兄弟に似た小さな男の子が立っていた。不思議に思って近づくと、男の子が、僕が苦しくて痛かったし、何言ってたのそんな風に言ったような気がした。慌てて病院に入ったが、もう手遅れだった。私は兄弟の名を叫び、大声で泣いた。どうして、その瞬間、僕たが私の中にスーッと入ってきた感覚があった。それから兄弟は私のそばで私をずっと見ている。ずっと。なのよ。あんあ What the fuck? No, 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 Relax. Let's relax. Oh. Masakino, horror, no, 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 今回もおなじみラジオネームとうこさんからですいつもみたいに誰のお話か今回書いてません、ね、まあ読みますね両親なんて最初からいなかったそう思っている弟を私は守らないといけないそれだけだった私には弟しかいなかった友人も親戚も誰も私の、のカタカナですね
、前の手紙でも何個かありましたね。読めないことはないんですけど、気にしていると話が止まってしまうので、できる限り気にせず読むようにしますね。続けます。私の周りには誰もいない。いや、いなくなっていた。気づいたときには、弟と二人だった。許せなかった。何もかも。私の、あ、私の、hey, what the fuck? すべてに向いていた。みんな、そう思った。いつも決まった、時間、時間、時間に手紙を書いた。丁寧に見えるものすべてを取り込んでそうした手紙は相手に響く相手の読んだ時の顔を見るのが好きだった私たちの世界へごちそうへごああああ世界へごちそうかあやっぱりカタカナ入ってると読み間違えちゃいますねまあ、すいません。続けますね。ごちそうを用意して、弟はいつも私の隣にいる。心配そうな顔をして、そんな弟の手を私は握る。弟が眠ってしまったとき、できなかったことを今、く、苦しみも、苦しみああ苦しみですね。苦しみも悲しみもすべて忘れて私と共にみんな行こう。私の周りではよく人が亡くなる。私のせいなのだろうか。Something is written at the bottom. ほら、あなたは下の方に何か書いてありますね。手紙読みましたかあ、全部カタカナで書いてありますね。手紙読みましたかですかね。手紙、てでも手紙ってこれのことじゃないですよね。何のことでしょう。手紙、ちょっと、うん、探してみようと思います。あったらまた次回読もうと思います。Let's see if we can get that key in that、uh, trash area. It's the only key that I found that kind of resembles anything relatively different or new in comparison to what we've already allocated. We'll see. Nice and easy. Oh! We're gonna make a right turn here at the end of the road. Oh god. Perfect. Bro, that, those tape recordings, they take a while, but they are creepy, man. Like. What? That's the guy that was following us! How'd it crash? <laughs> the car that was chasing us crashed. Now, the question is who was that? Personally, I'd rather not know. What's going on here? Damn it, my kids are outside. They're gonna think I'm a punk. Else here? Nothing, please pop out at me. I will lose my shit effective immediately. Okay, here we go. Tape number six. <laughs> Hello. 
、始まりました。鬼川まさきです。前回のラジオを聞いてくださった方はわかると思うんですけど、なんと、手紙ありました。資料の間に挟まってて気づきませんでした。ということで、今回はこの手紙読んでいきますよ。前回に引き続き、今回はどのような話でしょう今回も、毎度おなじみ、ラジオネーム、とうこさんからのお話です。今回は、タイトルのようなものもあるようですね。では、早速、タイトルから読んでいきましょう。Uh, OK, that works. Please. Huh? The tape ends abruptly. What happens after that? He was about to read the letter. It should be between some documents. I have to find it. Oh, fuck. s w e a r to God, if that lady pops out again, I'm losing it. The letter. There's a sticky note on the paper. Read this out loud and you'll know why your brother died. Ah.、Uh, Tonako no yami. Oto to a t s k m o e Anewa o k i k i o haku. Tonako ni wa nani mo dekinu. Hitori hanari yuk tonako. Kurami ni wa hitosuji no hikari mo mienu. A soko ni mienu wa kaibutska. Maneko to mo goki wa sezu. 醜い面は面影をも見せぬ先には島も色もなき白きウサギにはついてはいけずさまようものの骨一つ変わりゆくのは己か誰か怪物傍らに置こうとも鏡に映るは暗き闇落ちれや落ちあれ落ちずとても生きゆく先は何もなし Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, 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 oh. Help! Help, 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 help. Oh, okay. We, we're, we're going there now, huh? Yep, help. Is that who is that? Uh oh, stay the fuck back right now. Oreva Onikawa Haruo Tonako no Emiya Zeta Yomuna Yonda Rashin Oreya Moji Kanga. I shouldn't have read it, so why does the game make me read it? Like, I have to read the letter to find out. I'm sure, I think there is actually multiple endings. Like, we could have. There was still that padlock in the back, and by the trash, there was another key, which is probably the key for that padlock. Oh, fuck! Ending number three. Have you guys heard about the darkness of Tonako? Hmm, no clue. What is it? Darkness of Tonako? Isn't that if you read it, you're doomed thing?、Um, what do you mean by doomed? Someone is singing about the darkness of Tonako. I've heard that you shouldn't read it out loud, but no one knows what the original poem is because the darkness of Tonako is added lines or changed by many people, right? So it's a poem. No. What should I do? I was fooled,、uh, fooled into reading it out loud. The darkness of Tonako, little brother burns hot, and the older sister exhales a blue breath. Tonako can't do anything. Tonako leave him, leaving alone, not a ray of light can be seen in the darkness. If it is a monster that I see over there, even if I invite him, he doesn't move. The ugly side cast of the vestiges,、uh, there is no island or color head. I'm sorry, I can't read that fast, bro. I fall and I fall, and yet I haven't fallen. There's nothing at my destination. That's not funny. If you think you're going to do us a favor, well, you're not. What if someone reads it? Rip, LMFA, LMAO. Did you know that they found a voice memo that says not, not to read the darkness of Tonako was found? 
uh this is my first time hearing about the dark zone i'm i'm freaking out i'm gonna read it stop it seriously just let them do whatever uh they're gonna read it anyway who is the person who recorded it what happened to that person i heard that the person read the dark zone and read and recorded it right away because he thought it was dangerous you shouldn't read it and if you read it you're doomed are basically the same you should be more specific about what will happen aren't they awesome respect those who read the darkness do not go out loud will die well i partially read it so we'll be all right i'm not gonna go ahead and grab the documents documents are in there i don't know if you can hear it but there's something pulsating over here what the f what the fuck bro dude you good the trash talk oh that's for the tr hold on hold on hold on okay hold on we're gonna go back to the trash and grab that key there's a hole. Hey, what? Nice. What do we get? Wait, what? Padlock key. Oh. Yeah, that's weird. I can use it to re reverse the tapes. Are you fucking kidding me? Reverse. All right, we're back here. I can use this to re to reverse. Huh? Fixed tape. All right, the tape is fixed. Good. All right, here we are, little bro. Uh, what the fuck? Excuse me. What is that doing here? トナコの闇。弟は熊子。姉は青木一郎博。トナコには何もできない。一人離れゆくトナコ。暗闇には一筋の光も見えぬ。あそこに見えるは怪物か。マネコートも動きはせず。<笑> 動きはせず。醜い面は表向けをも見せぬ。先には島も色もなき。白き兎には水気は生きる。さまよう者の骨一つ。変わりゆくのは己が彼が。怪物傍らに置こうとも。鏡に映るは暗き闇。落ちれや
Masaki died because he read this paper out loud. There was a recording on the tape to back it up. After accepting the paper, Haruo whisked away. He had a severe look in his eyes, but is he trying to make fun of us? The police? There's no way that a single poem written on paper like this can kill a person. If such a thing were to really happen, it would be a terrible thing. As I was starting, starting uh, staring at the paper, a younger colleague came over to me. Senpai, what are you looking at? No, I heard that if you read this poem out loud, you will die. What? It is superstition or is it superstition or something? Do you really believe in that, Senpai? The junior laughs. Why don't you try reading it, senior? I will sell that, but I couldn't bring myself to read it. Of course, I didn't believe him, but... Are you scared, senior? Then I'll read it for you. Laughing, my colleague picked up a piece of, picked up a piece of paper. My colleague read the whole thing at once. Nothing happened during that time. I didn't expect anything to happen, but I was a little relieved. Nothing happened. Maybe it was just a prank. I was about to say it or not. He suddenly screamed and collapsed. He never came back. And when I noticed, the paper was gone too. What was that poem about? That ending is much, much better. Because you kind of... You know, the myth lives on, you know? Oh, it, they, it does in both endings, but I, I like that ending. The, the first one we got, ending three, was a lot creepier, but that was really... That kind of closed the story, the chapter, much better. Anyways, guys, we're going to end it here. Thank you so much again, as always, for watching. If you do enjoy the horror here on the channel, make sure you guys drop it a like. It helps out these videos so, so much. You have no idea. And um, I liked it. I like this game. I, I would say it's not the scariest game we played, but it does have some instances in there that are super freaking scary. Like the driving. Uh -uh. And some of those parts where you're listening to the tapes. Yeah, no. But uh, overall, a pretty cool experience. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. And uh, thanks again. I will catch you on the next one.